So you might have seen that on your formula chart at the very bottom, that you have formulas for simple and compound interest. We're going to take a look at those formulas today and talk about what the difference is between simple and compound interest and how we use those formulas to calculate them. First of all, interest on its own just means the amount of money paid for the use of other money, for example, in a loan or an investment. And interest is always based on a percentage of the money being loaned or invested. But how you calculate that interest depends on what type of interest it is. There's both simple and compound interest. Let me uh, slide that over so you can see both of them. And I'm going to show you the uh, differences between the two. First of all, let's talk about the definitions. Simple interest is based only on the original amount of money. Uh, that's called the principal. Compound interest, on the other hand, is based off of the account balance, which is going to include that principal interest, that original investment, plus all of the previous interest that's already been accumulated. You already saw the formulas there in your formula chart. Let's talk about what all of those letters mean. Capital I over here means the amount of interest, and you can find it by doing the principal amount times R, which is the interest rate converted to decimal form, that is extremely important, do not leave it in percent form, times T, time in years. That's because the interest rate is generally an annual interest rate. Now the account balance here is equal to the principal amount of your compound interest situation, multiplied by 1 plus the interest rate converted to a decimal, raised to the power of the time in years. This should hopefully look a little bit familiar when we were calculating percent increase and we talked about instead of calculating a 6% increase and then adding it back in, we could instead calculate 1.06 times the original amount, which would show 106% of the original amount. The original amount in total, 100%, plus the additional 6%. That's where this comes from. There are a couple of other differences to be aware of when you're considering simple versus compound interest. First, in simple interest, it's the same interest every year because it's always calculated only on the principal. Meanwhile, compound interest, the amount of interest you're earning is going to increase because it's based off of the account balance, and the account balance will be growing throughout time. The other difference here at the bottom of this page, let me scoot it up. The uh, formula for simple interest calculates I, the total interest. So if you wanted to know the account balance, you would have to use the formula and add the total interest to the original principal amount. On the other hand, the compound interest formula calculates the total of the account, which is the principal and the interest accumulated. So if instead you wanted just the interest, you would have to subtract the principal away from what you've calculated. By the way, students, if you were to uh, look up compound interest online, you would probably see a more complicated version of this formula that actually involves a different variable. At this time, we're not going to worry about that. Uh, it is another feature of compound interest, but luckily for you, you don't have to worry about it. This is as much as the, they need you to know on your STAR test, so that's what we're going to focus on right now. Let's take a look at these uh, examples here. Yolanda deposited $3,000 into an account that earns 4.5% simple annual interest. So that simple interest is the important part because that tells us which formula we need to use. Since it's simple interest and we want to calculate the interest earned, we're going to use I equals PRT. P, the principal amount, 3000 R, the interest rate as a decimal, 4.5% I don't mean convert that to 4.5, that's still 4.5%. How do I convert a percent to a decimal? Right, we divide by 100 or move the decimal back two places. So the interest rate as a decimal is 0 0.045. Time in years, six years. So that's going to give us our uh, value of interest. When I calculate that, I'm off camera right now using a very handy calculator. I am going to get that the interest is $810. What is her account balance after six years? So since this is how much she earned in interest and she started with $3,000, 
I need to add those together to find that after six years she would have three thousand eight hundred and ten dollars. In this next example, Marcus deposits twenty-five hundred dollars into an account that earns three and three quarters percent compound interest. Um, what is his account balance after ten years? That extra little part of the formula that we talked about would be how often you compound interest. In the examples we're working with, we're only going to be compounding once a year, just like with simple interest. So if you see a problem that talks about compounding annually, this same formula applies. That A is equal to P times 1 plus R to the power of T. We've got 2,500 times 1 plus our interest rate as a decimal. And I don't mean 3.375, excuse me, 3.75 percent. I mean 0 0.0375 to the power of 10 years. So again, me and my handy off-camera calculator are going to work here to find that the amount is 3000 six hundred twelve dollars now my decimal point six zero nine eight five seven I'm not gonna write all of that down this is a money amount so I round to the nearest hundredth sixty one cents here are four do now problems that we expect you to solve bring in the answers to these problems along with your summary at the end of your notes and they're going to be part of your video notes grade. Remember to jot down what each do now problem is about. If you just have these random numbers and answers, that does you no good. Good luck!